Have you ever tried to make a simple edit in Photoshop only to get lost in the layers? Well, you're not alone. Layer masks can be overwhelming, but they are essential for creating stunning images. Today you're in luck, because I'm going to show you a simple way how to use layer masks. I have two images open in Adobe Camera Raw. They are both edited and I'll be opening them up in Photoshop. If you prefer using Lightroom, well, you're in luck again, as I've already created a video using Lightroom, which you can click on at the end of this video. First thing we're going to do is select both of the images on the left side corner at the bottom here hold down the up arrow on your keyboard and click the other image and just press open now we have both images opened in Photoshop this is the first image on the top left corner you have the other image what we're gonna do we're gonna use the C of this image here, these waves, which I like, I prefer. And we're going to reveal them f onto this image here. I want to replace these, these white waves, these foamy waves here. So the first thing we have to do, we have to make them as layers. So go over to your transform tool. It's on the left corner on the top. We have all the tools. It's the first one. Now you have your cursor. It has the shape of an arrow and beneath it has the transform tool. You have to click on the image, hold it down and drag it over onto the other closed image which will now open up and drag it down without letting go of the mouse and then release. You have to place the image over the first image. You will see it's in place when all these blue lines are locked in place and there we have two images on top of each other on the left right sorry right hand corner you can see both images we have this one click on the eyeball and we have this one underneath the one on the bottom here is the one under this layer one. Now we need to create a layer mask. Just go down to the bottom right and click on this rectangular with a black circle in the middle. And it's going to open a layer mask. We have a layer opened up here next to the other image. It's in white and it has a highlighted perimeter showing you that this layer is selected. Next, we go over to these small dots on the squares, I mean, on the left side. You have the black and the white. Remember, guys, black conceals and white reveals. You can reverse them by clicking on this bent arrow here. You have the white on top now, and now you have the black on top. Now what we need to do, we're going to reveal the image under this layer here. And we're going to replace the foreground C. Next, go to the brush tool. It's on the left side here where the tools are. Click on it. 
and you have your brush opened up. Make sure you have a, a, a soft grad brush. Just click on here on the top left corner and select the first box of brushes. Next, make sure your opacity is set to 100%. Flow leave it how it is and the smoothing leave it on 0%. And now what we're going to do, we're going to start painting away. Make sure you have the black selected on these small squares here and just paint away you can see the image below is being revealed like I said that I wanted this part of the sea onto the other image on the right side you can see where we masked in black if you want to check just right click on the layer mask and press disable layer mask and you can see the before go back click on the right key and enable layer mask again you can make the brush small smaller by using the left bracket key and you can make it larger by using the right bracket key left makes it smaller and right makes it larger you can paint all the way up to where you want and there we have the C that I preferred. Another thing I forgot to mention while you're painting away and you just go overboard like this all you need to do is head over to the black and white squares and press on the white so you have the white revealed and just paint over where you made a mistake. Thank you and see you guys. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on editing techniques and leave a comment with your thoughts or questions. Check out my Lightroom editing for layer mask as well. It will be at the end of the video. And thanks once again.